Encryption is basically the process by which somebody tries to encode a message so that only the author and the recipient uh, can read it. At its core, encryption is about my ability to control access to information. But of course, the tool itself is neutral. So my privacy is a terrorist's secrecy. It really is a, a change in the balance of power, if you will, between the individual and the government. There is now a realistic possibility that if I use my encryption the right way, I can hide my information from the government no matter what the government does. And that is empowering in a lot of ways for individuals. Another benefit of encryption is that it's actually also a way of authenticating things. Uh, you've probably seen the electronic signatures that come on, uh, on your emails. Those are fundamentally based upon the same encryption algorithms and it gives me an ability uh, to know that the person I'm dealing with is you and you to know that you're dealing with is me. So encryption is at the core of uh, online banking, for example. But I think it's not disputable that at some level, the ability to keep evidence from government is going to have an effect on government's ability to prosecute crime or thwart terrorism. That's a problem, a challenge. But there doesn't seem to be any way to push the technology back into a bottle. You just have to figure out how to manage a less safe world. It's hard for law to really trump technology. Uh, which is to say that we could mandate that encryption come with a backdoor built in, a lawful access built in. But creating this capability, there's no guarantee that it's unique to the U.S. government, right? It's a capability and bad hackers can, can maybe break it or other governments, authoritarian governments, can demand that Apple or Google put it in their systems. Encryption is here to stay. I think that it is impossible to ban it worldwide. And if it's impossible to ban it worldwide, it's really in practice impossible to ban it in the United States. The effort to do so will in the end require us to monitor which apps our citizens download and use on their phones and control their access to apps that are built outside the United States. And then we'd have to have import and export controls to enforce that ban. So you can see how it becomes a, a very difficult um, practical problem given the fact that technology has so deeply upset this balance of power.